Good morning, guys. It's literally like 7.30 in the morning and all of the kids are asleep. I don't even have to do it myself. So I thought to myself, I'll get up and um, do some work. I'm sure as soon as I start laying out fabric or planning my day, they're gonna wake up. Um, so yeah, but today is an exciting day and I think this is why that I woke up so early. Um, I'm gonna go make a deposit on a studio space for my business and for my channel. So I'm really excited to, um, to go and do that today. Uh, it's been a long time coming guys, long time coming. I think I announced in my video sometime, maybe it was last year, um, that I was going to open a store. I'm finally um, ready to do it. I can't, I'm beyond words. Good morning guys. So today's a super exciting day. Today is finally the day um, that I am signing the lease to my building. Whoa! Um, it's such a long time coming y'all. And by the way, I'm at a stoplight. So yes, I'm driving, but I'm at a stoplight. So when the um, light turns green, I will put my phone down and no children in the car. But yeah, so I am on the way to pay the deposit and to pick up the keys and then I'm going to drive over to the new building and let you guys um, give you guys like a um, initial tour before I um, renovate it and do things like what is it? it's new so it doesn't need to be renovated but um, before I stylize it in my own style I'm super excited guys like this is such a long time coming and this is like literally all me I've worked so hard to be able to get to this point and green light. I'm so excited guys to finally be able to um, expand and grow my business as well as my YouTube channel and um, get a building. So at this building we will be doing, I'll be doing my day-to-day -day operations, my alterations, my custom wedding dress making, um, but I also will be having a hosting meet and greets and workshops here too and um, probably like mommy and me sewing classes and things like that just to bring in um, additional income to help me with overhead and stuff like that because I do have to hire um, one employee I'm thinking just one because I just I cannot afford to have multiple but anyway yeah I'm here to get the keys and pay my deposit and then I will take you guys over to the building and give you guys a initial tour so here it is in all its glory the building mine is going to be just the first floor I don't have the keys right now because the person who checked the keys out for the above building still has the keys but this is it hello <sighs> yeah I've got to clean up and put a new sign on the door and yeah it's on a really busy street which is great yeah, so uh, when she calls me back later on today and I get the keys, I will um, come back and give you guys a tour of the inside. When you first walk in, there is a hallway and I'm gonna tell you the renovations that I'm gonna be doing. I still have to raise money and save money for the renovations, but they will be done. So all of the walls will be painted a different color. I'm not sure what color. And then I'm gonna be doing some um, board and batten kind of wainscoting here and crown molding all on the top. All of the floors will be ripped out and replaced with wood. And yeah, so this is the entryway. And I'm probably gonna put a Man is Bride of Couture sign right here. I think that would be so pretty. Yep, and then all of the case openings will, will be replaced with prettier case openings and the doors and stuff as well. And I'm going to add a door to this. It's so loud, I'm sorry, they're doing yard work outside. I'm gonna add a door here because this is gonna be my office. This is going to be where I have my cutting table set up and my industrial sewing machine finally set up. I'm gonna do an unboxing video for that. I haven't um, received all of the parts, so I'm, I wrote a scathing review for the vendor that I bought the machine for. Um, I have yet to receive all of the parts of my machine, so now I have to hire someone to set up the machine for me and bring extra parts, and it's, it's pissing me off. But anyway, my table will be here, my industrial sewing machine. This will pretty much be my workroom, and I'm, all, uh, I'm gonna paint this as well. Um, the, this back wall is gonna have the um, mom that sews sign and everything. This is gonna be my filming room for my YouTube channel as well. 
the rooms are pretty small, but it's good enough for what I need to do. This window has a little bit of a crack on it, so I'm gonna have to talk to my landlord about replacing that or figure out what I need to do. About what I need to do to replace this. It's so annoying, y'all, hold on. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do to replace this window, but I'm going to add a, probably like a French door here to let some more light in, but there will be a door here because my sewing room gets messy when I'm sewing and I don't want uh, well, my customers, because I will be accepting walk-ins and things like that, I don't want them walking in and seeing my mess. So yeah, this is going to be my filming slash work room. And then this room here already has a door, it needs to be replaced. This room is going to be my kid's room, the playroom for the kids um, and like a break room kind of thing. So in here, I'm gonna have a TV set up and then they'll have their toys in here. I'm still gonna replace the floors. I'm, this will be all hardwood. Everything's gonna be hardwood because carpet, I don't like carpet, but um, I'm gonna take up all the baseboards. There will be no crab molding in here because this is just for the kids. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put a TV in here, probably like a little kitchenette here um, because the kids obviously need to eat and that will be here from nine to eight. So they need to eat. Yeah, so this will be their room and then I'll probably set up a table for their um, homeschooling as well because they need to be schooled. Yeah, and I'm probably gonna replace all the lights. I need to talk to my landlord and see if it's possible, but, and I need to see if I have the budget for it. But if I do, these lights will have to go. The next room is this bathroom. And it's pretty clean in here. I mean, it's just old. So I'm gonna be ripping out the floors, ripping out the baseboard. I'll probably put some of the same um, board and bed and Wayne's coating that I'm putting in the entryway in the bathroom. I'm gonna replace the vanity. The toilet will say how it is because the toilet is a toilet and I'll probably replace the door. But yeah, and all the case moldings and everything like that. This is like a storage closet. I haven't even opened this one. Storage closet, that's what it looks like. I mean, it's storage. I'll probably put like my, um, all of my TV and phone equipment, like my, it'll just be like my server place. Okay, and this last room, I'm gonna come through this one. It has two doors to get to it and um, two doorways and I'll leave the doors off. But this is going to be like my fitting room, my showroom for my clients. It's pretty small, but it's definitely big enough for what I need to do. I need to replace this here. Uh, over there, I'm gonna have my, um, I'm gonna have my uh, dress forms over here, like a display area. All this will be hardwood and this will have um, board and batten as well with the accent wall over here. And on this accent wall, there's going to be a large mirror that I'm gonna um, have to force. Uh, it's gonna be a large mirror, okay? A large mirror with a podium for my brides to try on their dresses and see themselves and everything like that. And then probably just like a couch, TV, and you know, it's not a big space, but it's definitely big enough. So what do you guys think about the space? This space also will be used for a workshop that I have planning. I have to finish the dress um, for that workshop. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on my new Instagram, I'll be showing you guys um, little snippets of um, the uh, sample dress that I'm making for an upcoming workshop that I'm gonna have here in this space. It'll be the first workshop here. I'm not sure about the pricing on it yet. I have to deal with that um, yet, but I'll be hosting workshops and classes and meet and greets and all kinds of things here for us in the YouTube and Instagram community. And then I will also um, obviously run my day-to-day -day business out of this space. So I'm super excited, guys. Um, I am going to be putting together a either a Kickstarter or a GoFundMe, I'm not sure, to help me raise money for um, the renovations that I need to do. I need about $6,000 um, for all the renovations. I already added everything up. Um, I obviously, I'm not just asking for free money, guys. Let's be real. Um, I'll have t-shirts for sale, new merch coming out um, through my YouTube channel. Um, 
that I'm still working on, waiting on my new logo to come back. So as soon as that comes back, I'll have my new merch out. So the proceeds from selling the t-shirts and things like that will obviously go towards renovating my space. And then I also have my sewing patterns and my Patreon. And um, when I post my videos on, um, like as a premiere, it'll be really helpful if you guys can donate via like super chats and things like that. Um, there's plenty of ways that you guys can help out and I really appreciate you guys because to be honest This space would not be possible at all if it wasn't for you guys. So I'm just like y'all. I'm so ecstatic. I'm so I <laughs> There I'm beyond words to be able to have this space for myself and for my kids and to be able to Move on to the next chapter of my life as a business woman with her own store y'all. It's just Yes, it's crazy. So if you guys are interested in supporting me, I know I've asked a couple of times in the past and I haven't really received the feedback that I would like, but that's okay. If you guys are interested in supporting me, please check below in the description box. I will link tons of different ways that you guys could support me. You guys just don't have to donate if you guys don't like to donate, you know, getting something for nothing uh, or sending something and not actually receiving something tangible back. Um, like I have said, I have the t-shirts, I have my sewing patterns, my sewing patterns really help. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to have my workshops and online classes and things like that. So this is not just a space for me, guys. This is a space for us to all learn and grow and, and be able to create together. If you guys are in the North Carolina area, I will be looking for one assistant, um, dressmaker to help me on my alterations and and stuff because I do anticipate uh, getting quite a lot of business for alterations. I'm just walking back and forth. Lord and yeah, I do anticipate getting quite a lot of um, business, alterations business. Um, this store that I have is on a really busy street. So I do anticipate a lot of walk-ins. So if you guys are in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area and you're looking for um, employment or internship or whatever, um, please let me know down in the description box and I'll send you guys like an application kind of thing um, for you guys to fill out. So yes, this is a space. It's a, such a small space, but I wanted to do it before. Obviously I still need to raise $6,000 to do my renovations, but I believe in myself and I believe in um, my community. So I hope that we can get to that goal and in time for me to have my grand opening at the beginning of July. But if not, um, you know, it is what it is. I will work with what I have and I'm just so happy um, that I'm able to do this. So thank you guys so much for watching this quick video today. Um, I have a couple videos in the works. I still have the video on me making my table that needs to come up. I haven't edited it down yet. I have all of the footage. I have two wedding dresses that I'm working on. So I have videos for those. So stay tuned. I know my channel has like fell off um, recently. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe it's me. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the YouTube algorithm. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so stay tuned for those videos and I'll see you guys in my next one.